Hi, I'm uh, Adam Fennick at the University of Prince Edward Island, and I'll be hosting the Research on Tap on Tuesday night this week. Uh, my title is Sunny with a Chance of Climate Change, PEI Weather Predictions for the Winter of 2013. Now, many of you may know, I've only been on the island for about eight months now, and since I arrived in March, we've had some really wacky weather, so this is, this is a real challenge for me to put any th great thought into predictions for the winter of 2013. We've seen in March those record highs, uh, we, we smashed records, uh, got as high as 24.5 degrees Celsius in March, we've had a really dry summer, that's affected the farmers on PEI. September arrived with uh, Hurricane Irene, and then we ended up with the largest amount of precipitation that fell in the month of September on record. So it's really making me a little uneasy. So I started things off by looking at Environment Canada models. Now, Environment Canada has the largest computers in the country. They use these computers to forecast the weather, to look 100 years into the future for climate and also to do these seasonal weather forecasts. And Environment Canada is predicting for the winter of 2013 that things will be warmer and wetter. Now unfortunately Environment Canada's uh, track record is not very good. By their own estimates uh, for the island of Prince Edward Island, they're successful only 40 to 50 percent of the time, which is not significantly better than chance. So maybe flip a coin for that one. So after Environment Canada, I thought I'd look at a bunch of almanacs. And I know well, these are very popular things, these almanacs. Um, people buy these to get recipes and learn about uh, when to plant. Uh, trees and where to plant them, fishing calendars, a whole bunch of different things, but also they have weather forecasts. The first one, Canadian Farmers Almanac 2013, says the winter of 2013 will be cold and snowy. Now, who would have thought that an Atlantic Canada uh, winter would be cold and snowy? Does, okay. does it say whether it's going to be colder, colder or just cold? It just says cold and snowy. Okay. So that's what we expect. Harrowsmith, um, they, they actually tell you to go to Environment Canada's website to find out what the forecast will be because they just say the winter will be bleak and dreary. And I think most of us would agree that winter in the Atlantic region is bleak and dreary. We have another, the Almanac for Farmers and City Folk. They say things are going to be normal. So neither warmer or colder or wetter or drier. Finally, our Old Faithful. The Old Farmer's Almanac from 2013, it's been around since uh, 1792. The U.S. President at that time was George Washington. They uh, have, a, have a secret formula, and they suggest that things are going to be colder and drier. So they're total opposite of what Environment Canada is saying. Environment Canada said wetter, sorry, warmer and wetter, and the Farmer's Almanac saying colder and drier. Well, where else do we look? Well, you know that the uh, European settlers of Prince Edward Island, they didn't have the weather channel, so they looked outside. They looked at nature to tell us, what's the winter going to bring? We've all heard weather folklore, like if the um, birds are migrating south uh, sooner, there's going to be a colder, uh, a colder winter, or if the uh, bees are, are building their nests higher in the tree, um, so I've been looking around at uh, nature, and I can tell you those leaves are still on the trees, which would tell us that it's going to be a warmer, uh, a warmer winter of 2013. And also, I've noticed on my property that the wasps are building nests in the ground, which leads me to believe it's going to be a bit drier. So, uh, nature as well. I, I know here in PEI we don't have uh, a groundhog, but a groundhog is able to tell us according to tradition, whether or not there's going to be six more weeks of winter following February the 2nd. And, but I have looked at the records, and they do tell us that uh, the groundhog it isn't very successful for here in, on Prince Edward Island. If we did have a groundhog doing our predictions over the last 30 years, he, he would have only been successful a third of the time. 
so only once every three times. So the last thing is to look at our climate observational records, and we're pretty lucky in, on Prince Edward Island in Charlottetown. We have 140 years of daily climate observations. Things have definitely been getting warmer and drier uh, over the last 140 years here on Prince Edward Island, uh, especially in the last 10 or 15 years. Um, so my prediction, well, you know, climate's variable. It goes up and down. It's nature's merry-go-round. But if you want my prediction for the winter of 2013, come out and see me Tuesday night at the poorhouse. Thanks.